Well, good morning and welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody had a fabulous weekend. Ooh, are you dead? <laughs> I think it's dead. <laughs> Rest in peace, little lizard. Uh, it's cold out this morning. I think he froze it down. <laughs> oh boy, these are gonna be some steel chairs. We have some stuff in here. This Jeffrey gave me yesterday after he fixed my gate. If you didn't see his video, look at this man. Beautiful, almost like new. <laughs> Way better than it was. So I'm pretty stoked about that. Jeff and his daughter fixed my gate. So uh, we're gonna get out and about today. It's cool out this morning. It started off this morning at 48. And yes, that's cool for you guys. It is, this is Florida. It's not supposed to be that cold. And uh, anywho, it's not even supposed to get up to 70 today. But uh, we're gonna get out and about and uh, see if we can stuff uh, this trailer full. So uh, let's get around these streets and see what the streets have to offer. Well, we've been going around a bit. It's pretty light out here this morning. So who watched uh, basketball this weekend? Yeah, I don't watch a whole lot of, of uh, basketball myself personally, but you gotta watch March Madness, right? So many, so many of the, I guess, top seeds, the lower seeds, the, the ones that are supposed to win got knocked out. They, my wife was telling me that 100% of the brackets were busted after round one. 100%. That's crazy. That's how unpredictable this year's been. But guess what? Michigan State's still in it, baby. Go Sparty! Ooh, the sun is bright and glary, but I'm still finding some things ourselves a scooter was it? <clears throat> Got some bits here. Uh, that's not coming. You guys can come down. Zoink. Pretty fluffy stuff this morning. I didn't think there's any scrap here. It looks pretty furnishy and plasticky, but I kind of like these pictures here. I think it's a room divider. It's pretty fun. New York City room divider. Oh, you're ripped. Still pretty fun, though. That's ripped in multiple places, though. Ain't no one when it's ripped. All right. Had a chance. What's in the box? What's in the box? Huh, a light. <laughs> it was something. I thought for sure we were going to strike out there, guys. Just being honest. <laughs> These have been a dime a dozen lately. These, uh, what do they call them? Inversion tables? I keep forgetting. The ones that flip you upside down and stretch your back out and make you all, make you taller again, I guess. <laughs> the third one in the week. I don't know that I've ever found them before. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. 
crazy. Some car parts. We got some refrigerator parts from refrigerator. We don't know what we got though. Look at all the refrigerator stuff in here. Where's the fridge at? ourselves a rota and some other looks like we got some uh what are they called lug nuts a little bit of wire and a rotor back on the tvs i know that someone asked me again last week what i'm talking about with the dates but this is gonna be a newer style TV. I can already tell by looking at it that it's gonna be within the date range I need. My TV guy will buy TVs from me that are 2013 or newer, and the screen needs to work. So we'll test this at the yard. We'll put it back here in this nice clean back of the car that had zero progress done to it over the weekends, or over the, yeah, over the weekends. But uh, what, what, what can you say? What can you say? That's the way life goes sometimes. Let's go. I'll take a light. Joink! What's in the box? Jackson condo wall pictures. Wall pictures. No, they actually might be wall pictures. Some vintage Scrabble. A jigsaw puzzle. I'll take the puzzle. Yeah, I don't want all those frames. Looks like we have a yummy little spot here. Hoping this is some wire, not just stuff that looks like wire. Uh oh. Uh oh. Maybe not as yummy as I thought. I think this is coax. No, not coax. Oh no, it's real wire. Sweet. It looked very coaxy. This is actually some nice wire. Pieces of good wire. Put you up here so I don't lose you. That's right on the cusp of maybe even stripping wire. Uh, we'll take some V Vecker attachments. Show nature. What are those? I don't know that I've seen those before. These are gonna come up here into the safe bin. We use these to fix the trailer. Ah, let's go. Possible picker. At least got a couple of bikes. What else we got in here? We got here. Roomba. I know people are like you should save that Roomba. I have I have two Roomba. I've had Roombas before. They're not so great, guys. I don't know why people like them so much. They don't do a great job, and they run over dog poop. Yep, that happened to me. It did not a lot of fun. It's funny on the intro net. Not funny when it happens in person. 
Seriously. A couple of baby bikes. What else we got? What is this? Is that a seat? It kind of looks like a seat, doesn't it? Maybe a motorcycle seat. I don't know. I don't want that to stuff fall through. Those are little pieces and my buckets. Not very handy right now. What we got here? All kinds of stuff here. Ooh. It looks like a fancy camera. We'll take the instructions and figure out what this thing is. We'll look that one up and we'll post it someplace. Ah, uh, this is Halloween stuff, right? No, just one. Oh, I think I, I think I, no, oh, just not. It was a bag. Yuck. What we got in here? Ooh, so heavy. What is inside here? A couple transformers. More boxes. You guys were telling me that one box last week was worth millions. I don't know what these things are. I'm gonna take some goodies out of this. Oh, yeah. What is this? What we got here? Oh. Digital video recorder. I've been doing this for security. It goes with that big old camera. Morning. Uh, I'll have to see if this works or not. You back on there? Yeah. Mm. All right, one more, one more quick peruse. in there? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Yep. Little bits of metal. You guys go back in there. You go back over here. Oh, there's a metal there too. Oh. All right. That'll do her. See how organized I am today? And the scrap's just not there. I don't get it. Look at this Insta wall. Good old metal photon. This could be an Insta roof. We don't need a wall, right? Come on, let go of me. Let go of me. Oh, I got hung up on the bikes. Whoa. Umbrella and a base. Base, base, base. Uh, I don't think you're gonna be a aluminum either. 
Come on, Mr. Car, go. Go, you can do it. It's like, what's that guy doing? That's garbage. Alrighty guys, first try the new gate. Look how nice and straight that is. Beautiful. He's probably not going to want this one. I'm going to take a quick picture of this. Just so I have it. And then we'll send it to him. Oh, my gloves don't work. Okay. No, I'm pretty happy about that gate. It's going to be like, hopefully a little bit easier. I know, I pulled up a little too far. That's because a car came. What are they saying here? Too much heavy. It's too much heavy, the machine. So that tells me the garage guys have already been through here. No! Unless it's from last week. Maybe that's why we're not finding anything. The garbage guys are early today. <laughs> yeah, this is too much heavy. I get you, bro. It is very too much heavy. That's a front loader for you. Too much heavy. Oh, look at that. No bowing. Beautiful. Beautiful. What are you guys doing? You get back in there. I have to reattach my license plate a little bit better. That's going to do for now. Come here, you little stink wads. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Onward. This is pretty crazy today, man. We're just bebopping along, I guess. I tried to hide this chair from me in this box. Ugh, but I've done seen a leg sticking out. Come on, man. Come on. Let the chair go. <laughs> he wants to take it out this way, I guess. Kidding me. Gosh. Oh my gosh, they had that stuck in there so good. He doesn't want that washing machine, but the guy came out as I was pulling away and said it works. So I might harvest some parts off of it before I get rid of it. I can always turn them in as motors and such later on and possibly be able to sell them in the process. Always be thinking. What we got here. Oh, that's a water system. That's no good. We'll take you though. You can squeeze right in here. Well, looks like we might have beat the garbage guys to this neighborhood. I think we've been behind them. 
But they keep seeing stuff. Oh, that's verb. Boy Scouts. What is that? Little speaker. Uh oh. Oh, you got a charger or something in here? iPad Mini. I know I should probably sell the box, but I'm not going to. I've got one at the house that I still don't have listed. Just what I need more boxes at the house. That's a pretty fun mug. <laughs> I know, I'm a sucker for shoes. They're vans. They're pretty good. Uh, are they in good shape or not? Those are not. The bottoms look good, but the, the bodies do not look good. What else we got? I don't know. We're not taking them. We got too many darn shoes. We got to get rid of the shoes we've got, man. Dirty aluminum. And a monitor. And that's all she wrote, folks. Let's go. We'll take a weed whacker. And I think there's a shelf. And oh, there's a grill over there, too. I didn't see that. Shwink. A smoker, right? Nah, probably a smoker. Let's keep just sticking stuff in here. Keep sticking stuff in here. That dog ain't happy. Uh, it was probably a grill, not a smoker, based upon the guts we got here. A beautiful day I'll tell you that man it's nice to be out wandering the streets on a beautiful day like today go get in there oh he's broken I was like that's a nice tower rack look at the hat rack this pulls a little small for a tower rack mat I don't know what it is it broken whatever it is Oosh. We'll slide up there and grab ourselves a outdoor chair of some sort. At least with a patio variety. Let's slide up and see what we got in the box. It's about time to shed my sweatshirt. It's starting to warm up. We're up to 54. stool too. Got ourselves a patio chair. Get out of the way there. Ooh, a bar stool and a bike wheel. Sweet. Got all kind of goodies here. You go there and you come here. Shwink. This is an interesting little find. It looks like an air handler. Ah, and the garbage guys have been here already. What do you say? Unacceptable material. There ain't no Freon in here, bro. But Freon's in the compressor. It's in the other piece. That's okay. We'll take it. Got ourselves uh, some kappa, a squirrel cage. We'll take it. Happily. Come on, get in there. Joink. Ah, let's move. Alrighty, guys. We're back at the pile early today. Kind of a slower day. I'm pretty sure the garbage man beat us to most of the stuff. I talked to some of the other people that are out there and about, and they're having the same kind of issues. Well, we got everybody unstrapped. We're ready to get this stuff off of here. 
try not to bust up our gate while we're doing it, right? Hey, Chihuahua, sorry. We're going to uh, take a look at this wash machine before we uh, throw her out and see if there's any stuff we can harvest off of here. So we'll take a look at this before we leave. Put her right there. I'd like to get the outside of this gone before we leave too. To see if we can make that happen. This will go as heavy. Look at the compressor in there. Even the good stuff in there. I told Jeff he needed to start a bit. Let's talk about leaving meat on the bone. That is meat on the bone right there, folks. That's probably a wand release. Wand release. Oh, there we go. That's probably a 100 pound capacitor. It's going to pay six to 10 cents a pound for him. And you can get 13 to 15 if you take it over to Jeffy. gate that doesn't bow when you walk on it. Thank you, Jeff. And for those of you guys that haven't gone over and given Jeffy some love, he's four away from his thousand. Go over and get him. Go over and subscribe so we can get to the thousand mark and then we can all be there. Need some help?
This should be aluminum. Yep. brothers. Don't go away, Sink. I want you. I'll see you again. Let's see if we can Mary pop in this thing. Oh! <laughs> That's a heavy one. <laughs> no such luck on that one. the savings account I think. Start uh, beefing up the savings account again maybe. these tidbits came out of the back of Jeff's truck. He's got a truck that's dead at his house. And he said this stuff had to go. So they threw it in my truck before I left last night. That's why you haven't seen this stuff. All right, I think that's it, guys. We're gonna break a couple of things down and we'll see you over at Jeffy's.
Alrighty, let's do some non-ferrous Jeff. You'll see here, 997, just three more. And he's got the thousand. Go see Jeffy, go do it. Let's go see what kind of monies he can make me today. I don't have very much for him, but Lucas is down here too. Lucas said I'd like to be on camera. Let's make him nervous. What's up? No, it hit, it's a it's a champ, man. I had a big old fat wash machine today. It did marvelous. It did. Held up like a champ. I don't got much for you, Jeff. Nah, not really. Corner. It should be aluminum, right? No? Steel? That looks aluminum, does it not? No. Galvanized. That's what that is. Well, yeah, I know. We already talked about that one. Uh, no, nah, I don't think so. Jeff, do 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 do. do. <laughs> when I find the right sizes, I'm gonna get them. <clears throat> Uh, sure. You don't clean these? What? I do sometimes. I got so many at home right now. What? I know. I just I need to like stop gathering and start purging. Yeah, that's I, I wasn't thinking. It wasn't thinking. He's in the yard. <clears throat> Thick. I don't know. Probably. The Doubting Thomas. How short are we? You're not. You're over. Oh, good. 108. I wasn't sure we were going to hit it. I did. Yeah. It was a washing machine because I don't normally turn those in. Those are like two, two and a half. I don't normally turn them in, but. Yeah, yeah those front loaders. Those front loaders are nice, chunky weight. No, nope, that's it. Well, I'll see it. Yeah, no, it held up great, man. It's like day and night. 
Nothing. We didn't even dry nothing. Uh uh. Well, yeah, we did this and that because it was oily. Right. It wouldn't, it wouldn't arc. Right. So. Just gotta get my plate back on. We'll be good to go. It is on. Uh, it's got one bolt. It's got one bolt and a, and a helper. <laughs> a wedge. A wedge. Yeah. Look at the size of that sealed unit. No. No? Wow. What'd that come out of? Probably Holy a, crap. A, a rooftop, uh, like at Publix. For, oh, there's two of them in here. Yeah, for the chillers. Wow. Yeah. Those are beefy. You can see the copper through the hole. Yeah. You can see the lining. Yeah. yeah. That's beefy. 306 pounds. 306 pounds for yeah. one? For one. Wow. It came from out back. So it came in a load that okay. everybody dropped in a roll up you're all done today. I'm, I don't know. We'll see. I might clean some stuff up and come back. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We hit our number. That's all that matters. I better put this down before it falls. All right, brother. Four more. Three more, actually. Three more. That's what you need, 102? You, did, you make playlists yet? You did. Okay, I'll go check. Last time I looked, you didn't have playlists. You get 102 hours with one person. Oh, a, <laughs> I don't know, there's a couple. Yeah, so you, you just gotta make sure to click the thing when you're uploading the videos, make sure that you add it to the playlist. Okay. And the playlist will be like all your videos, especially your longer ones. Yeah. And that's when you just go push play and it'll just go all through all the videos. It'll be like hours and hours worth of time. Here's a all right, brother. Tomorrow. <laughs> all righty. We're waiting paid. We had a much better day than I thought we were going to. I, I guess that, uh, that shred, you know, we just kind of slowly piled it in there and it added up, man. It added up. It saved us today. Normally the non ferris is saving us, but the tin saved us today. Let's jump into this receipt. Tin, 1,200 pounds. Uh, that wash machine certainly helped a lot. Those are nice chunky weight, and I'm not used to turning those in. The front loaders tend to have more weight because a lot of times they have big old hunks of concrete that keep them balanced. Um, but anyways, 1,200 pounds, eight cents a pound for 96 bucks. We turned in some unclean brass, which was that faucet we pulled off. There was some clean portions that he gave back to me, but the rest of it went four pounds, 70 cents for 280. Irony light was the Swiffer handles. Uh, some other things, because we have 18 pounds there. I don't know what we had. I don't remember what we had. I think there may be a, a, a pot or a pan or something. The scooter. Anyways, 18 pounds, 28 cents a pound for 504. Clean aluminum were the gutters, uh, four pounds, 40 cents a pound for 160. And then heavy was the weed whacker attachment. And what else did I hand him that was heavy? I don't know. There was two things that I handed him that were going to be heavy. 18 pounds, 18 cents a pound for a 324 for a grand total of 108.68. I'm shocked. I didn't, I just said, are you really going to go back out? I said, well, I don't know. I, I said, I was thinking that it was because I was short. And he's like, no, you hit your number. I'm like, sweet. We still have uh, that stuff from the, the one air conditioning handler that was there. We busted out the squirrel cage. We busted out the uh, the coils. So we'll clap the ship, clap the clip, clip, clap. Easy for me to say. Clip the copper off over there and uh, try to get the motor out of the squirrel cage without killing ourselves. Sometimes they come out real easy. Sometimes they're a pain in the butt. It just depends on the unit. So uh, we might do that, but we've got a busy, busy, busy day. We have a game tonight because we, you, spring break's over for us. So back to the grind, man. We've got three practices, a game, and scouts tonight. So uh, I might just go home, have lunch, uh, get my video done, and get ready for uh, the sprint from uh, after school till I think we go to about 9.30 tonight. So... Um, I might break some things down. We'll see. I really want to make sure we have a nice uh, non ferris Friday. Over the weekend, I did uh, tear apart uh, those two 
uh, pool heaters. I had one pool heater that I picked up thanks to Kevin and then my pool guy stopped by and said, hey, I've got a pool heater, would you like it? I'm like, yes. And it was like twice as big as the one that Kevin found. Same thing where it was kind of like, uh, had a huge compressor in it. Didn't have a lot of copper. I was kind of surprised. He thought there was gonna be more copper as well. The pool guy thought there'd be like 50 pounds of copper and there wasn't. Uh, they, everybody thinks there's 50 pounds of copper in a pool heater. I, there just never is. Um, but uh, there's still good value to it. Um, and so we were going to finish uh, breaking that down at some point. We do have them tore down. And I was going to bring the steel in if we uh, had time to go by the house or if we did a second run. But that's probably not going to happen today. So uh, hope you enjoyed the run. It was uh, all steel, all metal. Uh, that's the kind of day we had. We were definitely behind the garbage man because we found multiple items that had notes left on them And that means they've already been buying and said for whatever reason they weren't taking that um, In one case it was too heavy and the other case they said it had Freon even though it was an air handler which doesn't have the compressor which has no Freon so uh, I think that they just don't take air conditioning stuff, but uh, any who's if you enjoyed the run smash that thumbs up It's nacho stuff But that doesn't mean you can't take someone else's trash and turn it into cash so until tomorrow, be safe, be happy, and I'll see y'all then.